This is the Fishman Aura Spectrum pedal, and I think it's one of the most misunderstood pedals I've ever known. I've been in music stores all over the world and watched people completely not get it. Um, and I kind of understand why. If you look here, it has uh, Dreadnought, Orchestral, Concert Jumbo. It looks like an effects pedal. It looks like if you put your guitar into this and, and put it onto orchestral, it'll sound like an orchestral guitar, or if you put it down to 12 string, it'll make it sound like a 12 string. And that isn't it at all. Actually what this is, is one of the most useful pedals for anybody who has a home studio or is going out live and needs to get a really usable acoustic guitar sound. Now, this is the point, okay. It might not be exactly your acoustic guitar sound, but it will be a perfectly EQ'd, usable sound for recording or going out live. Let me explain about it. The Aura system is a system that Fishman have used for a long time now. They developed it. And basically what happens is this. At their headquarters, they have a beautiful studio. They have an absolutely beautiful studio perfectly equipped for recording acoustic guitars. And they have a big cabinet full of very, very expensive microphones. And then what they do is they bring in some very, very expensive top-end guitars. They bring in jumbos and 12 strings and concert guitars from people like Taylor and Martin and Breedlove. And what they do is record them in a pristine environment they record each string and each note. And they do that with different types of microphones, very expensive Neumanns and Sheps and whatever else. And they end up with this pristine recording of, say, a jumbo acoustic guitar. Then what they do is they use the Aura system to analyse the frequencies in that recording. And that gives you a map almost like a, a big equalization map. Then what they do is they put all that into this little box. Then you come along, possibly with your $2 acoustic guitar from the local store, or maybe even with your expensive Martin or whatever else. But it doesn't matter, the principle's the same. You put your guitar into here, and you match what kind of guitar it is here. So for example, if it was a jumbo guitar, you go down to jumbo, and then you'll find here up to 16 different EQ settings that you can try out and see which one suits what you're trying to do for the best. Because what this pedal does that is absolutely brilliant is it reads the signal from your guitar and looks at that as an equalization map, and then looks at the pristine recording and starts to match your signal and map it to that recording. So basically what it's doing is it's acting like a 10,000 band graphic equalizer, but it's putting your sound perfectly onto the curve of a pristine, beautifully recorded, expensive guitar in an expensive room with expensive mics. Now, once you have that, once you have that pristine EQ, you can then spend time, this has got a compressor on here, that's more for the live thing, I'll come to that in a second, but certainly in the studio, you can then start to manipulate it with plugins or EQs or whatever else you want, knowing that you've got a really, really good bass sound for your guitar. Um, the problem with recording acoustic guitars, as any acoustic instruments, is once you have the initial recording down, that's all you have. And if it's not good, it's difficult to make it any better. Well, that's where this helps. The other place it helps is live. If you are going out to play a show and you know that uh, the PA or the engineer is, you know, is having a busy time, he's not going to have a lot of time to set up, you can actually take this out and use it as a DI box and get your sound sorted out beforehand. And again, the same principle. What will come out of this isn't an effect. It will just be a very, very pristine EQ that the sound man can take into his desk and know that it's a terrific acoustic guitar sound. A couple of people have said, well, it doesn't quite sound like my guitar. No, it might not. But what it will sound like 
is a beautifully recorded guitar and that's what you're after. So let's get the Fishman Aura Spectrum in action. Now I'm playing a concert style guitar, so I've moved the switch down to concert, and then you turn the blend all the way to the right, so that you're only hearing the images, there's no blend from the actual guitar itself. And what you're looking for is a sound that's closest or most approximate to the one you were hearing in your head, the one you want to get. Remember, these are the EQ images, the Aura images of some of the finest, in this case, concert guitars in the world, recorded with beautiful microphones. While we're going through these, I should mention that the bottom there, it says user images. And one of the great things about this is that you can go to the net and you can download what many, many different user images. In fact, there are thousands of them that the guys at Fishman have taken from pretty much every kind of guitar you can think of. But also, quite excitingly, they've also done it with some famous people. So people like James Taylor or Paul Simon. If you want the image from their Martin, uh, the guys at Fishman have got it. And it's all there on the website. Um, so yeah, the idea is that you go through these and you find one close to what you want it, one of your guitar to sound like. Once you've found that, in this case we're going back to number 14, then you bring the blend back to about 12 o'clock, so you're now getting a mix of your actual guitar and the image. And then you can start to apply the EQ to fine tune and tweak it how you would like it to be. Now, as I said before, in the studio, this is just worth fortunes because it gives you a great starting point and then all you have to do is tweak it and play with it to get it just where you want it to be. Now, if you're in the studio, once you've found your balance, that's you, you're away. You can start recording. If you're going to be playing live, it's pretty much the same setup, the same idea. But Fishman have thoughtfully included some tools for the live performer. One of which is the compressor. And again, it, it's a very soft knee. It's a great compressor for playing live. And then down at the bottom here, there is couple of buttons, one's an anti-feedback uh, button which is a phase shift and the other is a tuner. Uh, always useful when you're, uh, when you're playing live. And you can see that uh, I was very slightly flat. But there we have it, that is the Fishman Aura Spectrum. A really, really useful piece of kit for any acoustic player. If you have a studio in your house or a, a little portable, uh, a little project studio, one of the big difficulties is when people want to record acoustic guitars. It doesn't matter how good they are or, or, or how nice their instrument is. It's still a pain if you don't have that cabinet full of beautiful, expensive mics or a pristine room for recording in. And this thing can make all the difference in the world to your recordings. So check it out. It's the Fishman or a spectrum.